The internet is full of horrific things. Uh, as someone who has spent most of my life going through strange parts of the internet, it takes a lot to shock me. It really does. It takes a lot for me to be like, oh, oh no. One of those people is genuinely the most sickening person I've ever seen in my entire life. And for many different reasons. And I'm going to give a warning before I go a little deeper into this video. If you have a uh, major trauma with child abuse and just horrific, disgusting acts, I recommend you leave this video. If you leave this video right now, I will not blame you, I will not judge you, and this is pretty much the only warning you're going to get before we get into some gross, horrific stuff. Nick Bates, or Nicholas Boyd Strautzenberger, who was born in 1991, was found on the internet by uh, the CWC board, which was a Chris Chan related board. People were comparing him to Chris Chan. The difference between Chris Chan and Nicholas Strautzenberger is kind of like comparing apples to giant spiked horn dildos. He is one of the most brazen, sick fucks I have ever seen in my entire life. If he was to die today, it wouldn't be soon enough. Let's talk about Nick Bates. There's a few things I'm gonna mention about Nick Bates before we get a little deeper into him. And we're gonna start with the small, non-awful parts. And then we're going to go to the incredibly disgusting parts before we get deeper into what he's done and how he's done things. So Nick Bates, um, I think the, the first and one of the worst in different ways is um, his Canadianisms. That's something I'll get into as we go through more of this topic because you'll hear me say him saying a boot and who and shit like that. So he replaces use with O's. Kind of like stereotypical Canadian. You know what? Fuck it. Here's a clip of the, the stereotypical Canadian. I'm Doug McKenzie. This is my brother Bob. Yeah, eh? Real good, eh? Real You're good. You're supposed to say, "How's it going?" How's it going? That's my line, eh? He Holy took it this week. Jeez, we're burning here. And that is what Nick wants to be. Nick wants to be Canadian for some fucking reason. He wants to be a, a, a Newfoundlander. Uh, a Newfie. He also has a fear of water. He doesn't shower, instead he decides to take what he calls pseudo showers every few months, where he takes off his shirt, leans over a shower head, and just washes his hair. He doesn't wash his ass, he doesn't wash his chest, his armpits. He also doesn't wipe his ass when he shits either, he prefers to air dry his asshole. I just want you to think about that. I just want you to think about the fact that this man air dries his asshole, and we're not even getting worse. <laughs> we're not getting deeper into this. Now, Nick was uh, in, in his late teens to early 20s, around the time a lot of his shit was, you know, found and compiled on the internet. But he lived with his grandmother and his aunt. He also wanted to fuck his aunt, but that's a different thing. Now, Nick also has a habit of shitting himself, masturbating with his shit-covered hands, we'll get to that, and rubbing the secreted mess that comes after that, uh, that masturbation uh, all over his walls. He tried to get him to stop fucking pillows that he likes to pretend is a girl that he lusted over, which we'll, we'll talk about. We'll talk about Anna in a little bit. But he, he was uh, basically humping a pillow that was pretending to be her. Um, he also had to be taken to the hospital many times because he liked to jam random items up his asshole. Uh, here's, here's a bathroom. There's a toilet. There's a plunger that I used as a butt plug. There's a, there's a mirror. Oh, he's also a self-admitted pedophile. And we're gonna get a lot deeper into that. But uh, he, he believes, same like the fucking Amos Yee, that uh, newborn babies can consent to fucking. And he says that, you know, pedophilia and incest should be legal. There's stupid laws. He's also wanting to fuck his own kids if he ever had any. He also completely hates vaginas. Uh, he says he likes little girls because their vaginas haven't opened up and become all gross. Tell you what, folks, why don't we play a little bit of his music? Because he is a musician. He really is. He's a, he's a better musician than I am. He can sing compared to me. So, you, you know what? Fuck it, let's listen to his, uh, his wonderful songs. I'm gonna do my wife And also some children In their butts but the latter is only if my wife says I can, which she probably won't. So I guess I'll just do my wife. 
Anally raping children, then disemboweling and force feeding them their own intestines. Everybody's pooping except for you. Every day is like feces without you. So Nick has had a few online girlfriends. Now one of them was named Anna. Anna has a lot of history on the internet. I'm not going to direct you to go after her or talk to her. Please don't. Just let her be on this because she had to deal with this fucking shit. You get a free pass after dealing with this garbage. But Anna and him had met on a role-playing forum. They started to role-play, they started to talk a lot, and over time... Uh, well, she stopped wanting to be around Nick. And understandably so. Now, Nick had, um, had fetishized her to no end. He really did. He saw her as his future wife. He was very possessive, controlling. He had sent her these horrifying messages, some of which I will read very shortly. But he really fucked with Anna. To the point where, understandably, she would get pissed at seeing him, talking about him, hearing him, seeing his face and his voice. He would send her letters, he would call her on his on her parents' phone, which he did not have the number for. Nick, I couldn't lick the hole because it was shitty, which sucks because I want to lick an anus, damn it. Anna, yeah, but your eight-year-old half-sisters? Nick, well, I didn't have anyone else. Anna, dear God. Nick, so yeah. Oh, that's right, I've had my anus licked too. It actually feels pretty good, but I still prefer to do licking myself. Anna, who the hell did that? Nick, Amber. And then this is a uh, another uh, conversation between him and Anna. Nick, yeah, I often wonder what color her anus is cause like some are pink, some are brown. Uh, I think there's purple and white and red too. Anna, what? Nick, what what? Anna, that is gross. Nick, not really. Anuses are my favorite body part. Although, it's also fun to picture her whole butt, too. Cause like, she has those wide hips. And also, she once told me she has a scar on her butt from setting on broken glass. Anna, <laughs> Nick, also she has acne on her boobs. Anna, ugh, ew. Nick, what? I like acne. Anna, oh my god, you gonna pop him while you screw her? Nick, no. Anna, <laughs> Nick, but if they look enough like a nipple, I might lick him or something. I don't know. Anna, oh my god, that is disgusting. Nick, you don't approve of any of my fetishes. Anna, what? Acne? Nick, all of them. Anna, uh, I don't even know what other fetishes you have. Nick. Oh, well, you know a boot all the butt ones. Anna. Oh, yeah. Well, that's okay, but you're, like, obsessed, and I don't get why you don't like vagina. Nick. Because they're gross. Now, here is uh, a blog post from him called The SMS Titanic, and I'm gonna skip through. Uh, there's gonna be some cuts. I'm gonna record it all, but I'm skipping through it because... There's so fucking much here that I, I don't know how to describe it other than I'm going to have to cut through it. So yeah, if you hear cuts, that's why. Friday, June 18th, 2010, the SMS Titanic. Finally, some new news. Okay, so it basically started yesterday when I tried sending Anna text messages. Here are the contents. Hey Anna, it's me, Nick, Bait, or Stoutzenberger, whichever. But yeah, it's been a while. So I was wondering if you want to talk or whatever. I mean, not much has changed with me other than I started listening to new bands. J.O.J., Scarling, R.B.F., you know. Read the other two books you told me to. Loved them. Also been playing a lot of Pokemon and Final Fantasy VII. Parentheses, you should play the PC version. Painting my aunt's apartment, parentheses, for money, etc. Plus, I'm less annoying. So, yeah. I'm curious to see how you've been doing. So I guess, give me a holler. See ya. Parentheses. Wait, why did I say that when this is a text and not live? Okay, now I want you to notice something. There's absolutely nothing sexual or even romantic in it, right? The whole thing was all chillax, like, Hey, what's up, man? I did this on purpose, hoping maybe, like, he'd bring back memories of when we were still friends? Well, anyways, 
A few minutes ago, this happened. Parentheses. The other person is Kate again? Miles Edgeworth. Never, I repeat, never text Anna again or I swear to God I will chop your balls off and feed them to you. Okay? Nick. What? Miles Edgeworth. You heard me. Are you illiterate now? Nick. No, I'm literate, but why can't I text her? Miles. Because she doesn't want you to. It upsets her. If you really want to say something to her, say it to me, and I'll tell her. Nick, I didn't even say anything bad. Miles Edgeworth, I know, but she doesn't like to hear from you. You creep her out. Possibly because you posted private info about her on your site. Nick, literally the whole thing was all chillax like, hey, what's up? What? Miles Edgeworth, I understand that. But when someone hates you, you don't write to them saying, hey, what's up? And doing so will not make her like you. Nick, then what on earth will? Miles, nothing. Absolutely nothing. She will hate you until the day she dies, and nothing you do or say will ever change that. Every time you try, she just hates you all the more for it. Nick, uh, no. Miles Edgeworth. Ah, uh, yes. Seriously. Listen very, very closely. She hates you so much, she wants to kill you. In a painful manner. Okay? Nick. I'm aware of this. Miles. And the only thing that will change it is if you back the fuck off. Nick. I don't think you realize people can change their mind about such things. Miles. And I do realize that. You've done so much to antagonize yourself. Any further attempts to make her change her mind will only drive her further away. You understand that. Nick, okay, but if I don't make attempts, she probably won't drive back towards me, so... Miles, so you should leave her alone. Would you rather have you hate her even more than she does now? Come on, Nick, use your head. Nick, but if I leave her alone, she won't love me. Miles, I know you got one in there. If you continue to contact her, she won't love you. Nick, see, now you're just confusing things. Miles, but that's the way it is. No matter what you do, she will not love you. Nick, sure she will. Miles, oh my god. What makes you believe that? What sane, rational part of your brain could ever make you think that? Nick, um, because we're soulmates? Pretty sure I explained this multiple times before. Miles, yes, but you're not soulmates. You can't be soulmates if one soul hates the other and the other soul harasses the other to the point where she wants to kill you. Nick, yeah, but somehow she's going to stop hating me and start loving me. So yeah, soulmates. P.S. I'm not harassing her. Miles, you know, I think you might be a troll. Nick, why would I be trolling the same person for five years? Miles Edgeworth, you see? Five years. She still hates you. Nick. Yes, because she's stubborn. Miles Edgeworth. Also, what on earth do you have to offer her? You're ugly as sin, flabby, unintelligent, and delusional. Nick. Safety, wisdom, love, analingus, pretty much everything really. And you know, love goes beyond superficial shit like appearances and personality traits. Superficial. Miles Edgeworth. One, you're the biggest threat in her life. Her parents have gone to the police and are concerned for her safety. If you go near her, they, being the fiercely protective people they are, will never let you marry. Two, what wisdom, you're extremely stupid. Three, no comment, because this isn't love, it's obsession. Four, she's into it. Nick, one, when Anna loves me, she'll call that off. Two, intelligence and wisdom aren't the same thing. Three, it's love, damn it. Four, Maybe she will in the future, son. Miles Edgeworth, if you call me son again, I'll rip your tongue out. Nick, what? I call everyone son. And dog, and dude, and nudist, and countless other pronouns. Miles Edgeworth, and they'll never call it off because they know what's best for her. Nick, obviously they don't if they don't want me to marry her. I am what's best for her. Miles Edgeworth, but you don't even know how to look after yourself, Nick. Anna is an extremely difficult person. I don't think for one minute you could handle it. Nick, I can. I know Anna better than I know myself. I know how to handle her problems and stuff. Miles Edgeworth, like what? Explain, demonstrate. Nick, 
What, you expect me to come up with an example off the top of my head? <sighs> Miles Edgeworth. Yes, since you know so much about her, you are, after all, the Anna Guru. Nick. I don't know, it depends on whatever her problem is at the time. P.S. using this moniker now. Miles Edgeworth, you're her biggest problem. Nick, only because she's making me into a problem. Miles, you both are. Nick, I'm only trying to help her, and she's being all, well, bitchy. Miles, admittedly, she's not handling it very well, but what would you expect? Nick, understatement. Uh, I would expect her to at least give me a chance to see how things work out. I don't see how it's so much to ask. Miles, good luck to you on that. M Nick, meh. Miles, but it is kind of too much to ask. Nick, I don't need luck. It'll happen anyway. Miles, you've scared her away. Nick, how do you figure? Miles, she's told me so. Nick, what? No, no, I meant back before she started doing this, like when we were friends. Miles, well, you started getting really creepy, and you decided that you were in love with her. This, understandably, scared her off. Nick, uh, because I am in love with her? What was I supposed to do, just not tell her? Miles, no, it's fine that you told her, but after that you should have respected her boundaries. That's what love is about, respect. Nick, how did I not respect her? Miles, you continue to try to pressure her into a relationship and write disturbing fanfics about her poop. Nick, there's nothing wrong with writing fanfics. She does it herself all the time. And I didn't even pressure her either. Miles, yes, but not about people she knows. And not in a creepy sexual manner. See, that's the main thing. Nick, all I did was ask if she wanted to go out with me. Miles, you're creepy as fuck. Nick, no I'm not. Miles, that's the other thing. You have no idea how creepy you are. Nick, there's nothing creepy about me. Not in the least. Miles, it's unanimous that you are really, really creepy. Nick, so Anna's friends make up the entire vote then? People who actually know me know I'm not creepy. Miles, dude, Jessa the doormat can't stand you. Jessa likes everyone. She's just that nice. Nick, she used to like me. I'm not sure what the hell happened with her. Miles, oh. Oh, I know. She only ever talked to you because she pitied you. She told me. Nick, um, she was friends with me before I even told her about Anna. Miles, yes. And she pitied you even then. She tends to be friends with people she pities. Nick, what the fuck would she have pitied me for before I told her about Anna? Miles, I'm not sure if I, Anna and I are included in the spectrum. And read your own life story. It's all on your stupid fucking websites. Nick, dude, I know Jessa, and she didn't just pity me. I used to be one of her closest friends until Anna had to go and ruin it. Miles, you seem to hold a lot of resentment towards Anna. Nick, uh, what does my biography have to do with anything? Miles, to be honest, it doesn't even seem like you like her. Nick, well, of course, she's made the past two years of my life hell. Miles, and it says you grew up in an abusive home, shitty family situation, no friends. Nick, actually no. Even before she she started hating me. Yeah, your point being? Miles Edgeworth, she pitied you. Nick, she didn't even know that stuff either. Miles, and dude, if you don't want Anna to keep ruining your life, leave her alone. It's that simple. Nick, if I left her alone, it wouldn't fix my life. The only thing I can fix it is if she loves me. Miles, you're very stupid. Nick irrelevant. Miles, no, it's very relevant. Nick, no, it's a moot point. Miles, because you still believe that she will someday love you, you are just that stupid. Nick, because she will. It has nothing to do with intelligence or stupidity, it's just the truth. Miles, I give up. Nick had a couple other people we're going to introduce before we kind of end this part, because I'm going to segment these out because I want to kind of cover Nick as best I can. We're going to talk about a couple more people in his life who are going to be important to the next episodes of these, because I plan on doing at least three parts when covering Nick. The first is Maddie. Now, Maddie was a 16-year-old girl who, you know, kind of pity-dated him. She sent him nudes, you know, a ton of different stuff, all that. And eventually, she linked him to the grander scope of the internet. 
such as the Christian boards and Kiwi Farms. Now, Maddie was only there for a little while, and she's not really important to the long-term scope of this. Talked about Maddie, who was 16, I should mention that Nick, even though he got older, was known to be a pedophile. He admitted himself, but he went back on it after his half-sister Amber's accusations. He refers to pedophiles as pedosexuals, and didn't discuss them very often online. He, he believes there should be a civil rights movement for pedosexuals. In fact, this would end up getting Nick jailed. From Lancaster Online, Columbia man charged with child sex crimes in 2009. Nicholas B. Stoutzenberger, 23, was charged Wednesday of one count of involuntary deviant sexual intercourse with a child and three counts of indecent assault with a child. The alleged sex assaults occurred in Washington Borough in 2009 and 2010 when a female victim was between 5 and 7 years old according to Manor Township Police. This is a video of him getting arrested, and we're going to get much deeper into that in these later episodes. This one is kind of introduce you, start it off, I have a plan for this series. One more thing we have to introduce before I start to wrap this video up a little more is a little bit of his coprophilia. Now, if you don't know what coprophilia means, congratulations. I wish I didn't. Nick has a fetish for poop. I'm gonna play a little clip of a very censored video, but, but I'm just gonna have him play off a little bit of it before we finish this video out. Before we start to wrap it up a little more, okay? Okay, here's the clip. Hey, this is Nick Stoutzenberger, better known as Nick Bate. Um, I'm filming this video because I've been accused of sexually assaulting my sister, and this is uh, me trying to prove that I didn't. Um, part of the reason that I think uh, they think I did it is because of this chat log uh, that surfaced where I told my friend that I did uh, molest my sister, um, and even though I've came out multiple times to say that this was a lie and that I actually didn't, uh, they nobody believes me. But um, one thing um, that I can prove was definitely a lie in the chat log is that um, I mentioned in it that uh, I didn't do anal with her because uh, she had feces in her butt. And um, everybody knows that I'm a coprophiliac, so this wouldn't have stopped me. If I were to molest somebody, I definitely would have done anal no matter what. And I can prove that I'm a coprophiliac because... And I'm going to stop that clip right there because one, YouTube will fucking demonetize me at the very least, ban me possibly unless I censor it. Don't worry, this video will come back later, mostly because it'll be censored. But I, I just want you all to know that <laughs> his defense is nutty but we've got time before we get there. So yes, as we're currently speaking, Nick Stoutzenberger is in jail. We will get to that. I promise you, we will get to how he got there, all that. But this requires more than just one video, both for my sanity, for your sanity, and to make sure I do this justice. Here's a clip of him from a leaked Skype call that uh, some of the funniest shit in the world, when you hear it, and this will kind of end this chapter. Before we talk about Amber a little bit, this will end this part. So enjoy listening to the Skype call. Okay, but you're proving my point. The, the pedophilia should not be illegal. It should. It is, it is yet another illegal. One. It is. Yeah, I know. People but get that's, prosecuted for it. They get thrown in jail for that's it. What I'm, that is what I'm saying, though. It's a stupid law. If you think it's so bad, then get out a picket sign, go out in the street, and protest legalization of it. So no, just, I just, would, yeah, yeah, I would do this, but as you know, I do not do things in public. So yes, you tell people on yeah. on Twitter. Not complete, not complete strangers, just people I already happen to know. Nick, 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 who are... Nick anybody can see your Twitter, and they can know. Yes, I'm. Mapping. Yes, I'm aware of this, but see, I. Oh, you are. When I type, when I type the things, I'm not, I'm not thinking of the random people. I'm just, I. It's directed towards. Well, you should. Like, you should. Yeah, I, I. 
Yeah, but I realize that there are people I do not know. I just, like, I don't, I don't really care. Well, they're going to make you care one day. They're going to use this information against you, Nick. You do realize this. How, how on earth could this possibly be used against me when I'm not going to have a job? How do or... you know you're not going to want to get a job? You, you, someday you might change your mind. No. And people are going to look at this and they're going no. to call cops. No, no, son, I do not. I just want you to know that those a uh, little bit of that quote there that he said, where he said, "How could this come back and haunt me?" is going to be the arc words of this entire series. So you may as well remember this clip right here. How on earth could this possibly be used against me? How on earth could this possibly be used against me? How on earth could this possibly be used against me? How on earth could this possibly be used against me? How on earth could this possibly be used against me? I also have to mention his half-sister. This is an image of Nick and his half-sister Amber. And this is where the next two episodes are going to be incredibly dark and incredibly depressing. And this is... I want to go through the light shit first. Because this is the girl that Nick ends up molesting. The humor is kind of going to be gone from the next two episodes. There will be jokes, sure, and I'll make fun of Nick, but this is going to be the most two depressing videos I make, and I wanted to kind of split these up. Before we get to the Patreon outro, I wanted to mention that I'm going to try to contact Nick. Um, if you have any questions for him, leave them down below. Uh, obviously, you saw this video that he was in jail. I want to get in contact and ask a, at least a few questions. If I can't get it done by episode three, then it'll be its own thing. But if you have any questions for Nick, make sure to just mention like a for Nick and then put like a little, ask it separately from a comment, if that makes sense. I'll try to put as many as I can into a letter, but this is assuming that Nick will even respond to me if I send him a letter. So figured I would mention that. And with that, we are at our Patreon outro. Uh, this series is going to be a little more of a deeper dive in different aspects than uh, a lot of my other videos. So if you're enjoying this, there is at least two to three more parts left. Um, I, I decided to cut it for time and because I wanted to see how a smaller video series worked instead of just putting out this giant video and and doing all this because i'm gonna be honest doing the giant videos all at once really like it can fuck with you at times so i decided to do this i also decided to see how it works with monetization because youtube really does kind of not push things that get demonetized so i just figured i'd try to get something monetized and see if that works uh the later episodes of this will definitely not be monetized so uh, if, if you like this video, hit like. If you, uh, if, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. Hit the bell icon. I'm going to read the patrons out now, so if, uh, if you enjoyed this and you want to sign up for a patron, link will be on the screen or in the description down below. But at our $10 tier, we have Amaret, Annie, Banana Mouse, and Some Jagass. At our $4.99 tier, we have Augie Burns, Ichi, and Union573. And at our $1 tier, we have Bailborn, Bizditch, Charlie, Sydney, Nat Waifu, Josh Boyles, K. Shea, Kim W., Lyra, Sin, and the Bean of England. If you'd like, please go down below, go to the Patreon, subscribe. There's going to be a lot more content coming soon. Um, with that, seriously, thank you for watching. Uh, here's to the next few episodes of this because they're going to get a little more horrifying, but. I promise you there's there's a lot going on here. If you would like to write a message to Nick, uh, I, I, I will tell you what. I, I'm, I'm going to just mention it now. Email me my business email. You can find it in the description of the channel. It should be fuzhu, F-U-Z-H-O-U, biz, all one word, at gmail.com. It'll be on screen and in the description down below. If you want to try to send a message to him, because I'm going to try to send him a letter, uh, I'm going to try to compile as many messages as I can, but I I'm going to actually ask him some, some hard-hitting questions if I can get in touch with him. So if you'd like, send me an email. I'll try to send it to him. 
and thank you. Have a good day. Take it easy. Be safe.